Amen. Yesterday, as we we had our men's meeting, and then when we got done with that, we came in here, was just messing around a little bit, amen, before we started singing. Let's roll. Amen. Test. The mic's working? Check. I know it's a little bluesy, y'all. <laughs> Is that all right? Put your hands together.
Since I put Jesus in my heart And he cleans me within I got joy to have a little fun, ain't that? Amen. Amen. It's all right to have a little fun. Amen. Amen. And let's get to what we're supposed to be saying. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for our pastor. Put your hands together for our pastor. Amen. For you brothers that didn't make it yesterday, we talked about being the cause because of our children are the effect. So we have to be the cause so they, because they are the effect. And we talked about being uh, examples, godly men examples unto these young boys and these young ladies. Because for some children, we're the only men that they see. Amen. And for some children, you're the only mothers that they see. So we have to be the cause because our cause affects their lives. Amen. And we choose their outcome. Yes, yes. If we chose to be good, godly men, they'll choose to be good, godly men. If we chose to be men of wrath, they'll be men of wrath. We are the cause, and our children are the effect. Amen? Amen. 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 What are we singing first, y'all? People get ready. Train to come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard him. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's change the key. Let's change the key. Let's change the key. Oh, We're going to be real hot. Be natural. Be, be, okay, let's do be natural. <laughs> How would I play it in that key? There we go. Here we go. Just get on board. Faith is the key. Open the doors and board them. You don't need no ticket. You just thank the Lord. Say woo.
do. Amen. Cooling water, 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 cooling water
Somebody yeah. been dipped in the water. If you been dipped, say yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought I was working, baby, so you came and changed my life. You thought I was working, so you keep me up inside. You thought I was to die for, so you sacrificed your life so I can be and I can tell you, and I can tell everyone I know. You saving, so you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping, so you clean, so you clean me up inside. You thought I was to die for. Sacrifice your life so I can be free, so I can be whole, so I can tell everyone I know. You thought I was worth saving, so you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping, so you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for So you sacrificed your life So I can be free So I can be whole So I can tell everyone I know
be the God who changed my life. And I will praise you. I worship you. I honor you. Because I am whole. And I can tell everyone I know. Hallelujah. Glory to the God who's changed my life. And I will praise you. I worship you. I honor you. Because I am free, because I am whole, and I can tell everyone I know. Come on, sing it with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say glory to the God who changed my life. And I will praise you. Because I am free, because I am whole, and I can tell everyone I know. Come on, give God a hand, praise. Come on, give God a hand, praise. If the Lord has been good to you, He sure been good to me. You ought to clap your hands. You ought to say amen. You ought to wave your hands. Because the Lord has been good. The Lord has been good. Oh, he's been good. He's been good. Good to me. Yes, he has. Hallelujah. 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 Anybody ever looked in the rearview mirror and said, Lord, you brought me through that and you kept me while I was in that yeah. and you took me through that and when I thought I was going to lose my mind, you took me through that. He's been that good. He's been that good. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. How many ready for the word? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. Tell your neighbor it's a faith thing. It's a faith thing. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead and pray. Hey.
everything, everything gonna be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's gonna be all right, y'all. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Hallelujah. 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 It's a faith thing. It's a faith thing. Just keep on believing. It's gonna be all right. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead and pray. God is good. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. I had some good days. I had some hills to climb. I had some weary days. Lord knows and some sleepless nights But when I look around Yeah, and I think things over All of my good days I weigh my bad days So I I won't complain Sometimes the clouds hang low Anybody ever been there? I can hardly see the road I ask the question, Lord Lord, why so much pain? But he knows what's best for me Although my weary eyes cannot see, so I say thank you, Lord. I want to say thank you, Lord. I won't, I won't complain. in here. Oh, he's been good to me. More than you could ever be. He's been so good to me. He tried my tears away. So I say thank you, Lord. 
just say thank you, Lord. But I have all I need, so I say thank you, Lord. May be sick in my body, but I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I won't. I won't. I won't complain. Cause God, He's been good to me. Has it been good to you, Tracy? Hey, He's been good to me. More than you could ever be. Oh, He's been good. Oh, He's been good. Oh, He's been good. Oh, He's been good. 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 He's been good to me. He dried my tears away. And he turned my midnight into day. So I say thank you, Lord. I just want to say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. My God. He's been that good. How good has he been? He's been that good. Hebrews 11. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You got your Bibles. Hebrews 11, verses 1, 2, and 3. Hebrews 11, verses 1, 2, and 3. Hebrews 11 and 1 reads as, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were formed, were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Amen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the confidence that what you hope for would eventually happen. It gives assurance about the things we cannot see. I want to preach with this thought right here as the Holy Ghost should lead and guide. It's a faith thing. It's a faith thing. For the past nine months, my faith has been tried like no other. 
It's one thing to see your father sick. It's another thing to see your mother sick. It's another thing to see your brother sick. But when you see your child sick, you got to keep the faith. Amen. And what the enemy does is he tries to get us to lose hope. Because if we lose hope in Jesus or hope in our faith, we lose the faith knowing that God can fix anything. Uh, the old folks used to say, trouble in my way. I have to cry sometime. I have to moan sometime. I have to weep sometime. I lay awake at night, but that's all right. Because I know that Jesus will fix it. And what the enemy does, he wants us to think that Jesus ain't going to never fix it. So we end up losing hope in what we believe in because we don't think that God can do it. But I want to let you know God can do anything. No matter what the situation looks like, no matter what the situation is, no matter how bad it's gotten, no matter how bad it is, God can still fix it as long as you keep hope. Amen? As long as you keep hope, as long as you keep faith, God can fix it. Amen? And the evidence is, if we just keep hope, the evidence will come to pass, but we have to have hope and we have to have faith. Anybody here ever lost courage, ever lost faith in something? And said, Lord, look, I'm, you taking too long. I don't know when you're going to do it. I don't know when you're going to fix it. I don't know when you're going to handle it. But as long as it's taking you, I should have already done it on my own. And that's what the enemy wants you to do. Because when you do it by yourself, that's when you mess it all up. You can, you can ask Abraham that. He decided that he was going to sleep with another woman beside his wife. And he messed it all up. Amen. You, 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 you could, you could, there's plenty of people in the Bible where you can see they messed it all up. David messed it all up because he saw a good looking woman and he decided to call her to him. And then after that, her husband ended up dead because David messed it all up. When you try to do it on your own, you mess it all up. You got to let God work the thing out. You got to keep having hope and you got to keep having faith until God sees it through because he may not come when you want him to, but he's always. Always on time. Always. Amen. So we have to learn to uh, speak with faith. Yeah. Well, preacher, how do you speak with faith? You got to call those things. It's not as though they are. Yeah, you you got to speak to that child. God, I know my child ain't no good. And I know what they're doing ain't what they're supposed to be doing. But I believe that they're coming back to you with a clean hands and clean heart and clean mind. And you got to continue to keep speaking that thing. Speaking it with hope. Speaking it with faith. Because the more you speak it, the further, the sooner it comes to fruition. You got to speak to the mountain and the mountain will be removed. So you have to learn to speak with faith. Amen. You got to have childlike faith. Child. I told y'all the story of my, my, what happened. I went with my grandmother and her, her four friends and the woman. And this woman was, had rigor mortis in her body. She was completely dead. And when they got done praying, she jumped up and walked them to the car. Amen. And, and after I seen that, uh, several months later, my, my father and my mother came to us four boys and said, uh, your daddy got three months to live. And we don't know what we're going to do. I've seen them breaking up penny banks and counting money together. I'm just a six-year-old child. And I'm watching this. But I said, God, the same thing you did for that old lady. I prayed with a childlike faith. I know you can do it for my daddy. And they gave my daddy three months to live. And he lived 26 years later until he died. Because I prayed with faith. And I kept hope going. Amen. We got to learn to pray with hope, pray with faith, believing God's going to do it as soon as you speak to it. You got to speak to the mountain and that mountain will be removed, but you got to do it in faith. You got to do it with hope and you got to do it knowing God is going to do it. I'm going to move quick. You got to speak with faith and you got to live by faith. Look at your neighbor and say live by faith. You have to believe that God can do it even when it don't look like it seems to happen. Let me say it again. You got to believe that God can do it even though it don't look like it's happening. Listen to y'all. You can't turn to the alcohol when it don't seem to be working your way. That's lack of faith. You can't turn to the marijuana to ease your mind. That's lack of faith. But if you got enough faith in you, you say, look, God's going to work this thing out as long as I keep the faith. And I want to tell somebody, God don't always work immediately. He works eventually. 
But you got to keep enough faith to say, look, I'm going to hold on until God do this thing eventually. Eventually, he's going to make a way. Eventually, he's going to bring me out. Eventually, he's going to heal my body. Eventually, he's going to touch my mind. Eventually, he's going to work this thing out. But you got to hold on to faith until God does it eventually. Preacher, what you mean by eventually? There was a man that was blind in Bethsaida. Y'all know what I'm talking about. God, Jesus had to walk him outside the city gates. And he spit on his eyes and touched him. And he says, what do you see? He said, I see men who look like trees. Jesus had to come back and he touched him again. And he said, what you do? He said, look, I can see clearly now. The man couldn't get healed the first time, but eventually he got healed. And sometimes it takes a little bit for God to work because it's according to your faith. He was in a city where people didn't have faith. That's why God had to walk him outside the city gates. And God had to do a little bit for him so his faith get built up. And when his faith got built up, he healed them all the way. And sometimes your, your blessing is delayed because your faith ain't all the way there. And once your faith get all the way there, God will bless you because he don't bless you because you're, you're his child. He blesses you because you have faith. Amen. Amen. He blesses you because you have faith. Amen. So we have to, I'm almost done. You have to speak with faith. Live by faith. My last and final point, you have to walk in faith. And I'm done. You have to walk. Walk in faith. You have to keep hope. And you have to walk in faith. Ladies and gentlemen, that woman with the issue of blood had enough hope to believe that if she can just get to Jesus and touch the hem of his garment, she would be made whole. First of all, she had to have some hope. The hope was Jesus was in the neighborhood. The faith was, I'm going to press my way to him. And when she touched him, it wasn't Jesus that healed her. The Bible says, your faith made you whole. Anybody, anybody with the Sunday school remember that story? Amen. When she touched the hem of his garment, it was her faith that made her whole. Uh, Peter was on a boat and it was the fourth watch of the night. The weather had gotten rocky and they were scared. They seen a spirit walking on the water. And when they thought it was a spirit, uh, and Peter, God said, look, it's just me and G. And Peter said, look, if it's you, Lord, then bid me to come out into the water. He had hope that it was Jesus on the water. But when he stepped out the boat, he stepped out on faith. And when he stepped out on faith, he began to walk on the problem that had him bound all night long. And I want to tell somebody in here, if you want to get rid of your issues and get rid of your problems and stop struggling with this and that all your life, first of all, you have to call on Jesus and then step out on faith. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, it's a faith thing. It's a faith thing. If you step out on faith, God will work a miracle for you. Amen. And, 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 and I can go through this whole book of Hebrews and talk about faith. But today I want to talk about the heroes of faith right here in this church. Is that all right? Instead of talking about Jephthah and, and Moses and Abraham and Elijah, I can just talk about some folks right here in this church that had walked through faith and kept the faith until God delivered them. First, I want to talk about brother, brother Ish, amen, how he came from a different state. After his house had burnt down, he decided to plant himself in Arizona. And even though he came looking for nothing, God brought him to something. God blessed him with a job. God, God kept, him, kept him while he was here in this state. And he said, look, even though my house burnt down, I thank God for it burning down. Because if it didn't burn down, I wouldn't be here today. That's how you keep the faith. I want to thank God for Brother Kashaka starting his two jerks uh, business. Amen. Through all pain and through all grit and through all grime, he kept the faith and said, look, I'm going to start my business no matter what. And I'm not going to buy nothing used. I'm going to buy something new because I got faith in God. If he allowed me to do it, I will worship him while I'm in it. Amen. I want to thank God for Sister Connie Porter. Amen. I went into her house the other day. She has two master's degrees. Two master's degrees. And it takes faith in God to discipline yourself. To get two master's degrees. I want to thank God for brother Tramel back there in the back. 
When I was down and out to my last, he came up to me and said, brother, I know what you're going through. And I understand how you feel. But if you just keep the faith, you got enough strength to just keep going on. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for our sister Trina here plowing the field and making a way to get her master's degree. Amen. It takes grit and it takes grind to go through, get, get these educations that people need because people don't want you to have the education. People try to stop you from getting educated, but thank God for her. She put her hand to the plow and did not look back and she kept moving forward in Christ Jesus. Amen. And I can go on and on and on about people here in the church. But the greatest gift is our Pastor Barry. After 36 years, continue to open the doors. Pandemic tried to shut her down. Religion tried to shut her down. People that, people that love her tried to shut her down. But yet she remained faithful to the cause of Christ. And for that, these people in this church is our heroes of faith. Look among you. Look among you. You don't have to go very far. I, I, I can tell you about Brother Dion and I can tell you about, brother, about brother, this brother back here. I can tell you about everybody. You don't have to go far to find the faithful pu people right here in the church. Right Amen? Amen? It's among you. It's right here in the church. Faith is all around us. We just have to be charged with faith. But the greatest faith of all was this man named Jesus Christ. Who healed the sick. Who raised the dead. Who touched blinded eyes. Who walked on water. The dead mothers received their sons back again. His name was Jesus. But even though he did no sin. And no guile was found in his mouth. They condemned him to death. Why are you doing this to our savior? Why are you condemning him to death? It's because the Bible told us that. That we had to have a remission of sin. The goat didn't work anymore. The lamb didn't work anymore. The dove didn't work anymore. We needed an original sacrifice. We needed a human sacrifice. Because when God looked down. And he seen the sins in Jermaine's heart. He said the lamb ain't going to do it. The goat ain't going to do it. The blood of the dove ain't going to do it. Putting the blood around the doorpost ain't going to do it. They need a savior. And this savior's name is Jesus. They marched them up Calvary's hill. They marched them up Calvary's hill. Hung them on a cross. Nails in his hands. Nails in his feet. Thorns on his head. And they called him the king of kings. But yet they crucified him. They crucified him. Because there was a debt that needed to be paid. They crucified him. Because we had to make it to heaven. And when he died. Didn't he die y'all? Didn't he die? He died. To the earth shook and rocked. Died. To the moon dripped in blood. Died. To the sun blacked out. But they say early. 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 Sunday morning. He got up. With all power in his hand he got up with the holy ghost he got up so i can have joy he got up so i can have peace he got up so i can have love he got up so i can do my dance he got up so i can wave my hand he got up so i can see jesus for myself is there anybody in here that says I got enough faith to keep on going? I got enough faith to keep on running. I got enough faith to keep on striving. I got enough faith to keep on running. Because Jesus, 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 
Jesus, he died for me. And since he died, I got to wave my hand. Since he died, I got to say amen. Since he died, I got to do my dance. Because he's been good. Somebody say he's been good. 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 He's been good good to me. Come on, just come on, just give him praise. 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 Hallelujah. 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 I believe. I believe. I believe. I have the faith that he's going to do just what he said. He going to heal my body. He going to touch my mind. He going to bring me out. He going to take me in. He going to do everything he said he going to do. And I have enough faith to believe it. Anybody got the faith? Anybody got the faith? I'm not talking mustard seed faith. But I'm talking about faith. He going to do it. I'm talking about faith. He going to heal me. Faith, he gonna make a way. Faith, he gonna bring me out. Faith, he gonna take me through it. Anybody got the faith? If you got the faith, then clap your hands. If you got the faith, then say amen. If you got the faith, then wave your hands. Because God will. God will. God will. God will. God will. He gonna do it. I I think I'm preaching to myself. He gonna do it. He gonna do it. He gonna do it. He gonna do it. Whatever you need, he's gonna do it. Hallelujah. 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 It takes faith. I got up this morning and wrote down a million notes. Didn't even get to them. Y'all, it takes faith. We standing here because of faith. I hope y'all didn't come to church to see me. I ain't, I ain't got nothing for you. Hope you didn't come to church to see Pastor Barry. She ain't got nothing for you. Hope you didn't come to church to hear good music because good music ain't going to get you to heaven. But it's the faith in God. Even when hope is lost. It's still faith. Even when your friends walk away. It's still faith. It ain't old pity me. It ain't none of that. It's God. And him alone. That can fix it. Y'all I see the price of eggs and milk and gas. Only faith can keep us. That's it, y'all. Because our bank accounts ain't going to hold up. But faith will. Like Pastor talked about that woman with only two sticks and a little bit of meal. Going to bake her a cake and die. But faith kept her. Every time she went into the barrel, there was a little bit more. And every time she went into the barrel, there was a little bit more. Because she believed in God. And I just want to encourage the church today. Your education ain't going to keep you. The money in your bank account ain't going to keep you. The job that you've been on for 20, 30, 40 years ain't going to keep you. The only thing that's going to keep you is God. In your faith that he can. Amen. And I'm going to tell you he can. 
I ain't telling you this from what I read. I'm telling you what I know. God can. Do I have anybody here that can testify that God can do it? Even when you give it up, God is still working it out. Even when you feel like walking away, God is still working it out. All you have to do is just keep a mustard seed of faith. That's it. If you just got a little bit of faith. God can move on a little bit of faith. Amen. The older I get, the more struggles I realize I've been through. And this morning as I was driving to church and kids doing their talking, I just reflected back. It's faith that keeps us out. It ain't the culture. Our culture was faith and believing in Jesus Christ. That's what brought us out of 400 years of slavery. Believing in Jesus Christ. Amen. And for any saint to walk away from God after what he's done for us and our ancestors is devastating on your own life. Amen. We need to hold fast. We need to hold fast to who Jesus Christ is in our life. And we need to have a personal relationship with him. Let me tell y'all something. There's a difference between having mama's relationship and grandmama's relationship. I was telling the brothers the other day. But when I got my own relationship, everything looked better. And I want to invite someone today to Christ. If you have walked away from God or slipped away from God, I want to invite you to back to Christ. And you say, preacher, look, I, I haven't been doing what I should have been doing. I haven't been living the way I should have been living. But today's the best day to come. Back to Jesus. Amen. Stand to your feet. Anybody want to come back to Christ? Anybody need prayer? Anybody need prayer? Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Because you cared for me in such a special way, that's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. Oh, that's why my heart is filled with praise. Come on, say it again. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you came for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. My mind, my soul belongs to you. Way back on Calvary. I prayed you, I lift you up, and I magnify you.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister in the green, come over here, sister. The song says, I don't know what I would do without the Lord. I don't know. Somebody help me with the rest of it. What I would do without the Lord. What's the rest of it? In my shelter in times of storm. I'm just going to make it up. He's been my friend when I felt I didn't have one. I don't know what I would do without the Lord. Go on and sing it, Tiny. This is what I hear in my spirit. I don't know what I would do without the Lord. That's the Holy Ghost talking to you. And you talking to God. this man left me in all this mess. That's what you're saying. Is that what you're saying? But just didn't leave you. He up and died. I don't know what I would do.
can't do nothing without God. But this is what I heard the Holy Ghost say when you was laying on the floor. Put all of it under your feet. Put it under your feet. Amen. Amen. And once it's under your feet, it's a new beginning. Woo! You never shut that at all. Tell the devil, devil, you don't own me and you don't own nothing here. You don't own the kids. You don't own nothing. Because all of you is under my feet. Pick them up. Put them down. Pick them up. Put them under your feet. <laughs> Tell them no more. <laughs> no more torment me in the name of Jesus. That's what he's been doing. He's been tormenting you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know. I don't know. What I would do. Come on, praise him, church. Come on, put your hands together. Help him praise him. Because she needs to be free. Come on, help her praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
The storm is passing over. Hallelujah. The storm is passing Hallelujah. over. The storm is passing over. You know 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 the storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. Put your hands together for the Holy Ghost. Put your hands together for the Holy Ghost. The storm is over. The storm is passing 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 over. Come on, get your hands together and give God some praise. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, it's a faith thing. And keep the faith. Amen. We have a few guests in the house. We're going to hear from our guests. Amen. And we're going to get out of here. Amen. Amen. Brother, Brother Jace, to the young lady and the young man right over here. My name is Ma'am Pamela Davis. This is my husband, Theodore Davis. Amen. We're just visiting today. Um, we live out here in Buckeye, but we resigned at uh, Christian Hope International Ministries in Phoenix. Amen. So we were just out visiting today Amen. with our sister, Denise Hackett. Something to the young, to the young man. Man, God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. To the young lady and the young man right here next to you. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Hello. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm Apostle Gregory T.B. Baskin. This is my wife, Teresa. Hallelujah, we live here in Buckeye. Um, um, I'll make it real short. I was sent by God from uh, Virginia to Arizona. You talking about a faith walk. Come on now, I'll tell you the story later. But it was a faith walk, a faith journey. And I got here and I said, God, now look, man, you told me you're going to do this and that for me now. You told me what you want me to do. I said, I'm here at the mountain. I go to a place called Skyline Park. I know y'all are familiar with that. Well, it is no longer called Skyline Park. It prayer Mountain. The Lord said, I want you to claim this place as Prayer Mountain. For the past three years, that's where I've been. I don't have a building, none of that. But the Lord said, go to the mountains. And I go to the mountains 
and I preach the word of God to thousands around the world, to nations around the world. Come on now. But he said, Buckeye is where I'm sending you. And I came here, and the Lord blessed me, blessed me with a wife. Mm -hmm. The Lord blessed me. Come on. And, and just, just been good to me. Yes, I got a cast on my foot, but I can still fight the devil. That's right. Mm. Come on. Hallelujah. But I'm going to say this right quick. Um, the National Day of Prayer Thursday of May. Available and would love to come out and be a part. I would love for you to come to Skyline Park, Prayer Mountain, and pray from 11 to 1 over our, our state, over our, our city, counties, and all of that, and over the, the national uh, affairs that we have of um, uh, the presidential uh, people there and so on and so forth. We want to lift them all up in prayer. So that's going to be coming up real soon. Amen. But we're out here because I said, God, oh, my pastor, I read all up on you. Yes, ma'am. I got so excited. I said, my God. I said, and then when I came in here today, I said, what have we stumbled into here? This is what I'm looking for is people that love to praise God. I got out my car and I heard the praises coming out this building. I said, this is my kind of place. Amen. This is what I'm saying. Not ashamed of the gospel. Come on. But we want to let everybody hear. We ain't ashamed. That's right. Come on. That's right. Talking about faith and oh, guess what? We got Hebrews the 11th chapter, and he said that they said the hall of faith. Let me tell you something. There's some more folks been added in there since then. That's right. And it's continued to add even to this day. God is lining up in there. And so God bless you. Thank you for uh, allowing us to be here. Uh, we will be back and uh, working with, with you guys in the, in the in Buckeye area. Amen. God bless you. Uh, my wife needs to say something. He knows that I don't like to talk, but thank you. We appreciate you guys having us here. We did. We had a really, really good time this morning. Thank you. Amen. Let's put your hand. Let's put our hands together for all of our guests with us today. We have one more guest. No, she's been here, mom. Amen. Amen. Let's thank God. You guys are more than welcome. All you guys are more than welcome to come back anytime you like. Amen. Sister Cynthia. February birthdays. I'm sorry I missed y'all, but I have so much going on. I love you though. But March birthdays, today is your day. But you got to share it with February. After service, come and see me. Man, so back there in the kitchen, she prepared something for all of, for all of you that would like to get some poly cake ice cream. Who knows what it is? Amen. Amen. If nothing else, stand to your feet. Oh, hold on, before you stand to your feet, can I see the announcements? I keep forgetting. Amen. That way we know what's going on collectively. Amen. Let's put the top. For some reason, nobody ever gave me an announcement. Huh? All right, the, mar the marriage couple communion is April 1st, right here at the church at 6 p.m. Our Easter dinner, our Easter dinner, which will be in the Sundance Park, will be uh, Sunday, April 2nd. So those of you that have not got with Sister Olivia and told her what you're going to bring, for our Easter potluck, our church Easter potluck, please make sure you do that. And our guests, you guys are more than welcome to join us on those days as well. Amen. And the Buckeye Women's uh, Fellowship, that's all the churches in Buckeye come together at this Buckeye Women's Fellowship. And that's April 11th at 8 a.m. And that's, uh, I still call it, uh, what's the name of the church now? The First Assembly of God is right there on MC85. So, and I'll make sure these are all up next week. And our, this is very important, our Girls Promise event. That's May 6th at 5 p.m. Is that here at the church? Okay. We'll have that. We'll make sure we get, we make sure we put all those in. Community that, church. The community church. Yeah. So those of you that have young ladies, you might, we get with pastor. You want to make sure that your young lady, your young daughter is in this event. It's a, it's an amazing thing. Amen. And then, uh, I believe that's it. Oh, we're having a music, we're having a musical poet, poet, poet day. And we'll make sure we get those times out. So just so you, the church, make, please make sure you guys pay attention to these announcements. 
and we'll make sure we get the times and dates on there. That way you guys can plan accordingly. Amen. I am asking for anyone mostly to please bring a dish on the girls port day because we're going to have it's a dinner also. So could you bring a dish on that day? The girls promise day. The girls promise day. That's in May. And also Brother Pierre, his choir is singing April 9th at 6 p.m. at Pavilion of Praise Community Church. So if, you, if those of you that are not doing anything at 6 p.m. on the April 6th, you guys can be with his, him and his choir. I believe that's Easter Day, right? Easter Sunday uh, in the evening. So you guys can be with him. Nothing else? Stand to your feet. Brother. Anything else? Brother Carlos, good to see you, bro. Amen. Brother Dion looked tired over there. He danced a little too much. <laughs> Amen. Any birthdays in the house? Any birthdays in the house? We got one birthday. Anybody else? We only got one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy. Happy birthday to you. God, Lord, we thank you for this day, God. We actually touch each and everyone that's in the house, God. Touch those that drove near and those that drove far. And God, keep us in all your ways throughout this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.